Alola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome to the end of the week kind of recap uh, PTCGO run through. What we're trying to do today is we're going to try to make Alolan Sand Slash and Alolan Ninetales work. Um, alas, they are both a little weak. Um, they were not really able to hold up to snuff when I played them. I still love the art, the art is beautiful, and I hope that Trainer Kick does teach some new players how to play. Um, but it was just a little underwhelming. I tried it with a Lolan Marowak. I tried it with some Zork. It just they were they just do not hit the right numbers to be able to pull it off. So we had to scratch that. We had to take a look at our pulls for for the. Uh, let me block it out. Actually, let me block it out before you know what I'm playing. Um, we had to take a look at the pulls we got from the Forbidden Light packs this week. So, we had a couple options. One of those options was Little Goomy Boy, but we decided not to play Goomy. We will play him at another time. We could have played the Alolan Executor. Also decided not to play that, even though we tried it with those guys. We tried Empoleon, but just decided not to. And we also decided not to on the Noibat with Destructive Sound. But we did get a pool. We did get a pool that really pushed us in the right direction. And I haven't gone over this deck yet, so you know what? Why not? We are going to be playing some Beastie Boys. The Maybe not the music, but the definitely the, the cards. Oh, I realize I don't have the music on. So here's some loud music, guys. So what you guys are seeing today is my stream setup i said this is my setup i have for twitch um starting to come together and i'm happy about it i'm starting to stream a little more and i like doing it so with that let's go over the deck since i like to go over the deck the deck list will be down in the description as well so if you guys do want to check it out feel free to copy paste it into your own tcgo and try it out for yourself and i will at the end of the stream go over a few changes that i personally We'll be making for post rotation. So, without that, without further ado, let's go over the deck. First, we have an Orangaroo with Instruct. We got to be able to pull off those three cards occasionally. He's not definitely, he's not like first turn, throw him down. He's like late game, you can put him down when you start running out of bench mons. Um, Instruct can be very useful when you start getting late game and getting end and stuff when you're winning. Uh, we also play the big Lord's Valley Guzzlord, um, one of our pulls from the week, uh, so why not play him? Lord's Valley is an enormous attack, and as long as you don't have two, four, or six prizes, it has no drawbacks, which is grand. Uh, four energies we can get on with two beast rings, since we are playing those as well. We got the big Guzzy Boy, because why not? Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. I haven't got to pull him off yet, but you never know. Maybe we face off against an Ultra Necrozma and able to one-shot that Dawn Wings for four prizes. That'd be kind of great. We also have a Zerka Tree in here. Flashing Head is just good if you find yourself against a lot of special energies and you need a moment to set up. You know, just throw Zerka Tree in there. Prevent those attacks for a turn or two so you can get set up. Also, Lightning GX. If you're falling behind, uh, I really like using lightning sometimes. It also kind of sets up if you know if they take if they take uh, four prizes on you really fast and you don't get a chance to use your beast ring, you can lightning GX, put an extra card in their prizes and be able to use beast ring the following turn. We also play my main man, the dusk man, uh, Necrozma here. We're for dust shot. We play some unit energies that is electric, metal and psychic so we're able to use dust shot pretty effectively in this deck we also have cartana blade gx is is pretty much the best gx attack in this whole this whole deck um it really helps with you can literally just solo with guz guz uh guz lord over there with the 160 attack and then come in get blade gx to your last prize it is so satisfying um, we also play a Dawn Wings in the Crosma. This is something I would probably definitely take out for the post rotation. Uh, just due to the fact that it has two retreat costs, not one. Um, but other than that, right now it's good because it still has Float Stone. We have the Poiples. We do not have reverses of that, unfortunately, so we can't really play them. But we are playing this one. We're playing two of those. 
and two Naganadels, uh, because why not? Beast Raid is where it's at. We also play two Lele's just for general draw support. We tend not to use her though. Uh, she's there to make this a deck that can compete on those higher levels. But it's not necessary. If you do want to go budget, I would probably add more balls, especially post rotation, because I plan on getting rid of Bridget because it is rotating and putting in Apricorn Maker, which grabs more ball cards. So I kind of like that. We play two B-Strings uh, because B-Strings are awesome. If they're down to three or four prizes, you can B-String and get your Guzzlord set up in one turn. One Field Blower because we do like some of our abilities, uh, as well as it's good to get off some big uh, tool cards that are causing number issues. We also play four Max Elixir, try to get those energies out as quick as possible. We playing three Nest Balls because we have another option to search. Um, I think it's only three. Is it three or four? We are only playing three. We don't use them too often, so we have a better way to get out our Pokemon. We also have Rescue Stretcher, one of those, and one Super Rot. One's mostly for energy, one's mostly for Pokemon. We play three Ultra Space. This is our main guy to get out any any Ultra Beast we need. Uh, so we love using Ultra Space. Two Bridgets because it's just general general set up your Pokemon, get them on the bench, and let's go. Uh, four Cynthia because it is our standard draw supporter in this deck. Three Guzma because I think we just couldn't find space for that fourth. Uh, one N just for that extra little bit of draw. It's also really good late game if your opponent's just really up on you. You can kind of come back by playing an N. We play two Team Flare Grunts because... We need that extra time to get set up. Might as well Team Flare Grunt and take out an energy along the way. Uh, Ultra Recon Squad is our secondary draw support. Since we play so many Ultra Beasts, it's not a big deal if we discard the ones we're not using. Say you're playing an opponent that doesn't have any special energies, you don't really need Kartana, so you can get rid of it. Uh, if you're playing, a, you can also kind of get rid of uh, Zerka Tree because you're not using it. Um, but if those two are necessary, you can get rid of, you know, the big Guzzlord GX that you don't need. A purple Poiple that you don't need late game. So, we tend to get rid of those. We actually are playing three Poiples, too. Uh, two choice band for numbers. And just it's better to get those choice bands down. Lord's Valley hits 190 with the choice band. Uh, the, good, the Tyrannical Hole hits 210 with the choice band. So, they're just, it helps those numbers, gets those things up to where they need to be. Uh, two float stones for the dawn wings one beast energy because we can only play one too bad We can't play 12 of these we'd be freaking OP uh, Four unit energies because we have metal lightning and psychic mons in this deck So we might as well play this to be able to utilize all three of them And then we finish it off with nine dark energies so we can hit those max elixirs and that is the deck We will have it down in the description below uh, Because when we're posting this it is still standard Yes, I want to discard them. So I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit on my mic. I hope it doesn't affect the, the volume of which I'm speaking, but just affects the volume of the music in my ears. So this is Naga Lord. Uh, probably could have called it something better like the Beastie Boys or the Raiders. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, um, I wonder what I am going to name this deck because I feel like it's something Raid. I mean, Beast Raid is the attack, so it is kind of like a Beast Raid deck. But it's also, it's a little more than that because we have the Lord's Valley. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to call it the Raid for now. I'm playing the Beast Raid deck, so let's flip Tails because I like Tails. Hey, Tails! We will like to go first. We're going to change that once Celestial Storm comes out. There is a deck we're we'll playing that we will always have to hit go second for. Um, I have an idea of it. It's something that I think is going to work pretty well. I'm just hoping the idea is not stolen by others first. So we do get a mulligan. Not going to deal first. Uh, we can attack with this, so we're going to put him up front. We'll throw this guy on the bench, though. 
kind of a weird hand to start out. A couple nest balls, unit energy, and a super rod. But we can kind of clean out our hand and go ahead and Cynthia get fresh cards. We are facing against the Buzz Holia. So actually, first thing I kind of want to do here is grab a... Uh, Ooh, I was gonna grab the Dawn Wings, but I, there it is. Okay, I was like, but I don't see it. So we do want to grab that and go ahead and grab the uh, Poiple as well. And see, our bench kind of lines up pretty quickly here. We do that, and we can spread some damage next turn. Go ahead and Cynthia this turn, and get a couple of Guzmas. Uh, I will hold on to this guys Lord. I don't want to plunk up the bench just yet. Next turn though, I will probably want to get it down there. I'm hoping this lighting's alright. I don't look too red. I probably do look really red though. That's a little better, but that's like light directly in my face. That's fine. So they are going to get some max elixirs off on that buzz hole on the bench. That's a little unfortunate for us, but we should be fine. Um, yeah, so they're splitting their energies. They're making sure that nothing's going to be solely taken out. I mean, we do have to worry about this Guzzlord. It is kind of a free prize for them. All they have to do is hit 80, and it's donezo. No more funzo. But uh, I think we'll be fine if we can get... We could probably sack one of those so that the B string activates. That'd be kind of nice. For now, they are just going to spread the damage. They recognize Poipal being the the problem child here, um, so we're going to go ahead and throw that down. We will throw this down. I don't really want to, but it's extra damage at the end of the day. This does nothing for us, right? This does nothing for us, but let's just search our deck. Make sure we still have two Noggin'Adels. Only one Beast Ring. Uh, the other one is Prize. Um, I'm not sure how many energies are Prize. And there might be a Cynthia Prized as well. But we'll throw down this. Now here's a fun thing we can do. We can hit this Buzzhole for 90 here. Which I like. Um, so I think we're gonna do that. We'll just hit this active one right here for 90, since it's right in front of us. So they're gonna want to take this out, but they're probably gonna go after the Poiple. Did I use a supporter that turn? I think I did. I must have used a Cynthia. They're gonna ace a roll it up. And a Zygarde back here, chilling. So this is a Buzzhole Zygarde deck, is what it looks like. They're gonna come in with the other one. I doubt they're gonna have that Ace of Roller play consistently, but they could. It's fine though, they do not knock out the Naganadel here, or the Poipul, just yet. Um, they have Silk Valley too? It's a weird deck. But their bench is full now. Both benches are full. So, I mean, they have the six prizes I'm going to take right here. The two buzz holes for sure. Might try to take this little valley too, but not sure. Get a Bridget. So, nothing we really want just yet. Poiple is going down next turn, though. We have nothing else to attack with. I could drag something up that can attack. That might be a good idea here. Let's grab a Zygarde. And I think we will attack it for 90. I don't think he's gonna have a Guzma. But I'm only 30 damage away from being knocked out, so I do have to watch out here. I mean, to be honest, the Crosma can, like, solve this for me. Let's just 
go ahead and attack the Zygarde for now, though. We have to get all the unit energies on Dawn Wings, though, or at least two of the unit energies and maybe the Beast energy. They use Cynthia, but that's not a Guzma. They could possibly find the Floatstone or the Sil Valley. Looks like they found the Sil Valley. Trying to get some energy on it so it can attack this turn. This might end up being a long match though. Sorry, checking my phone notifications. Some friends are going live on Twitch. Cell connected, they got the attack off. They got the attack off. So this guy's ready to go now. Um, so I have to try to hit this Naga Del this turn. That's not what I need. Um, I can bridge it here for one thing. It's not really going to help me. But I guess it may. Actually, he has a special, right? Yeah, he has a special. So maybe I want to grab Zerka Tree here. I'm, dr I'm stuck on draws, though, is the problem. It's my drawing that's stuck. So I guess we're going to grab an Emergency Orangaroo here. Go ahead and throw this down so they don't take any prizes. And activate that. Hey, that does not put us in any better of a situation. Why can't I use my secondary attack? Because it's two dark energies, that's why. Uh, so that was a waste of energy. Um, big misplay on my part. Big misplay. Um... I wasn't paying enough attention. I just grabbed his energy and threw it at it. Not realizing it wasn't a psychic energy. Couldn't prevent this thing from being knocked out. Uh, but we do activate... We do activate the beast rings this turn. So with this end, we will get a full hand of six. Which will most likely have beast strings in it. And we can start swinging pretty hard with those. Um, he does have free retreat now with this Sil Valley. We can... We can uh, evolve into this other Poipul though, so we have a purple ready set up to go. He's gonna GX attack and try to save himself. Um, so that's intriguing. He's trying to save himself. Uh, I guess we go with Poipul. I think I'm just going to go with this because I'm definitely going to Ultra Space here and just sit behind something. We can Super Rod those three back up since we did lose them. I guess we didn't need the Poipal, but other than that, uh, that was definitely useful. So, what do we want to grab here, though? We only have dark energies in our hands. So, I think we're going to grab Zerka Tree. It's protected. <clears throat> so, we're going to grab Zerka Tree and pop it out there. I wish I was uh, attacking with... Uh, with the Dawn Wings this turn, but I'm not. We'll throw this here. We know we can do something with the next turn, but for this turn we are going to sit behind Zerga Tree and chill out. Could attach the Floatstone here and draw an extra card, just to see what we get. But we're in a really bad spot. Ooh, Beast Ring. That's something we can use. So we might as well set up a Lord's Valley and see what happens this next turn. I don't think they can take out Zerka Tree. They're going to have to find a Guzma and uh, get this guy out of the active as it's taking poison damage. They do get the Guzma. They're going to go after the Naganadel, I'm assuming. Yeah. Sil Valley, Psychic Weakness. Yikes! 
That's just mean. That's just mean. That's very mean of him. So, what is my play here now? I do need to grab another Poipul. I doubt they're gonna have that many Goose. If they have another Guzman in a row, like, that's just kind of ridiculous. We'll check this out, though. We can totally attack Lord's Valley here. Go ahead and grab a Poipul out of here. Since this guy is being super rude. But yeah, we got to a low hand size, drew a ton of energy, and kind of got screwed over in this matchup. There's another Max Elixir. I doubt it can hit, to be honest. We'll try to get it on Poiple, but I, like I said, I doubt it can hit. I don't think we have that many energies left in the deck. So here we can attack with Lord's Valley, but it's, it's, it's definitely not enough damage. I will say that. Um... Honestly, I would like to take out the Zygarde. It's really our only chance back into this. But if they top deck a Guzma, that's all they need to be able to finish this out. Uh, how many Guzmas have they played? Just the one. So they have it. They definitely have it. All I can do is some chump change here. Um, I mean, Rebel GX won't knock me out. And this thing cannot retreat without sacrificing, but it'll just sacrifice that and attack anyways. So we're kind of screwed on this one. I'll leave Zerkatry up there. See if they do have that out. They most likely do, though, with out of those six cards. Maybe they don't. I feel like they would have Guzmaned right away if they had it. Because they're just going to Guzma and take out the Dawn Wings, I believe, with the uh, Buzz Hole. Because I think even with the resistance, yeah, even with the resistance, um, Knuckle Impact should hit. Hits 190. Oh, maybe not. I will survive if they hit. Why'd they hold that for so long then? Alright, so this game's done. I don't usually concede, but that was ridiculous that he just wasted my time like that. Literally just wasted my time like that. So you guys are interested in like a crappy list, here it is. Um, can't say it's crappy, it did beat me. But you know, this guy is under my style, you know, the, the Zygarde, just trying to play all the Zygards together. Threw a couple of holes in there though. Um, it worked with some well-timed Guzmas, but, like, don't really foresee that running that smoothly normally. Um, but good game nonetheless. We'll take this into another one and see how badly I can lose again. But yeah, I had some terrible draws in that. I was drawing fine with this earlier, so I'm kind of confused by why it's doing this to me now, but it must be because I'm recording. So we'll try one more game with this. Uh, if I lose this one too, you guys can take it and leave it. What you guys think of the Beast Box, I will say that there is some really good Beast Box support coming up soon. You will be getting uh, yourself some stack attackers. Some really good metal alternate attackers, and uh, so there's definitely room for Beast Box to just get better. Um, I do find this to be a good base base uh, list to try to get it together too. We are actually playing almost a mirror. It looks like we're playing a Guzzlord versus Guzzlord. He's playing Dark Ride Guzzlord. And we're playing Guzzlord, uh, not gonna do. Very intriguing. So I'm actually curious here what the Bridget should go for. I'm wondering if I want to go for, you know, the double, double Poiples. Unfortunately, I do not have a Buzz Hole to just knock these guys out. So they're getting off pretty pretty quick here with that turbo build. 
Uh, we'll save the Cynthia for next turn. Um, I just say we take control first, you know? Go ahead and grab uh, a big Guz boy. I guess we'll just flex. Say we're playing Guzzlord 2. We have the unit energy though, so I'm kind of wanting to grab this guy. I kind of want to grab that guy. So I can do this. We do get that dark energy, nice. Get that on him. Go ahead and pop that float. Retreat into the dusk main. Dust shot. This is a three shot on him. But he is the star attacker in this deck, so let's get rid of him. As quickly as possible. So with this, we do wanna I was tempted to eat sloppily though. I was tempted to eat sloppily this turn. But I didn't want to discard the five cards because I knew they would not be energies. Maybe one or two of them would be, but not all of them. One, two at the most, I will say. But I would have probably lost some essential cards otherwise, like B strings. I'd rather power them up with B strings. They do get the two energies, but it's 20, 30, 60, and we have a resistance, I think. No, we have resistance to Psychic, not Dark. Uh, they get another Dark Eye out. It's kind of cool to see this guy one more time. He's probably struggling in the ladder, though, with, some, with all that buzz hole running around. So they do do 80. They did do 80 damage. Um, I think I'm just gonna Cynthia here. So they have 120 left. It's good to know. So we will make it so that we can Attack with this next turn. If we must. Could field blower. They have an experience share there. But we're not near knocking him out yet, so I'm not super worried about that. Does he have a psychic resistance? He does have a psychic resistance. Which means a 60 is not enough damage. But I feel better about getting a choice band on this than trying to double hit that. So I'm going to go after this other dark guy and set that one up as well. Yeah. And then we can throw Naganadel up there. We can hopefully get a couple more Ultra Beast down and have a good old time. They're gonna Lily for a full hand of five. That's not bad. They get rid of my Ultra Space. There goes my options for grabbing my mom's easy mode. They get another Dark Eye set up, so it's kind of a Turbo Dark. I'm actually surprised they don't have the GX in here. Absorbing stuff. Throwing it on Lele. So that's a knockout. That's definitely a knockout. Alright, so we gotta hit, hope we hit some good cards here. We're down now. Um, so we gotta hope for some good cards. We do get an N. Um, it's a little better. We definitely don't want them to keep their energies. And I don't want to draw those again. Um, N doesn't do much to him except change the cards in his hand. But we're going to do it anyways because we can get full uh, cards here. 
getting a Rangaroo. We get nothing that we can use. That's a little unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I might wait. I'm gonna wait, see if they take out this Guzzlord. Um, because that way I can activate Beast Ring next turn. I don't know if they're thinking the same way. They're gonna try to Guzma out something, I'm assuming. As they get continually set up. But I'm hoping that, I mean, once I get something set up, we can, uh, you know, kind of one-two punch on these, uh, these two guys here. Does your second attack not affected by weakness or resistance? So that, that's where Duskman could have been useful, you know, if I were to hit the Lele. Um, not that Lele is weak or resistant, but it allows me to go through that resistance of minus 20. So I will still hit for 110 on the Dark Rise, but 110 is not quite enough. If I would have had a spread, maybe, or if I would have had a Fighting Fury Belt on those, uh, on that Duskman, this one would have had 70 damage on it. So they, they have they have enough to not take these knockouts now. Um I feel like I'm more likely to throw the floatstone on this guy. Team Flare Ground is is not what we can use right now. We're gonna have to do this way. And Cynthia? Although if we have an N, we might as well use it. We don't have an N. So we're gonna have to Cynthia. So maybe I could've should've Cynthia and kept the N in there, so I could've came back here. Go ahead and Cynthia, we're gonna have to hope for that beast rig. And we whiff it. We whiff it hard, but we do get a couple more Ultra Beasts down here, so Nagan and Adele can take a hit, um, which was my other plan, was like set up Nagan Adele for a Beast Raid. It's resisted, but it's 60 damage. I think they're hitting for 170 right now, or at least they did on Guzzlord. So I'm hoping they can't hit up to the 210. But we'll see if we have a chance to come back here. I know one option I have right now is if I get another two dark energies. If I find a max elixir, maybe I can definitely glutton GX for more prizes, which is kind of fun. The game's tied up at that point. If I can glutton GX. Because glutton will do 110. And I love that Noggin Adele retreats for one energy. That makes Skateboard a possibility. There is 20 more damage. Plus their thing, this should be 40 more damage. 170, 210, I think they hit it perfectly. I think they hit it perfectly. Which makes my next decision really hard because I'm going to have to throw away the Noggin Adele just to draw cards. Just to draw cards, I'm gonna have to throw away knocking it up. Yeah, they got that 210 quickly and easy. Uh, we're gonna have to go with our free retreater, that big Guzzlord. And we get a dark energy, so that does not help us. Does not help us at all. We're gonna have to throw away the noggin Adele. And hope we hit this guy, which we can't use. Why can't we use that? Okay, I'm confused. There should be no reason I can't use... Yeah, there is the two prizes. Got it! Um... 
Since we know they hit 210 now. Honestly, this kind of sucks because this is like my only play right here. Actually, that's not even my play. I just lost again. I just lost again. Apparently, I forgot that, you know, B string. I'm just not having a good night, guys. So, this deck does not suck this bad. You can trust me on that. Uh, but I will be going over some post rotation options after this. Um, not including Stack Attacker. Like, you guys can choose your own Ultra Beast to play. There is a plethora of different Ultra Beasts that you can play in Beast Box. Um, <laughs> didn't matter, they had the Goose Man, anyways. We're just kind of done with that. Um, so I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I'm just playing it horribly. To be perfectly honest. Uh, apparently I don't understand the deck as well as I do. As I thought I did. I know when I was playing Naga Nadel with Zerka Tree earlier. It was working well. Naga Tree was, was fine. This was working pretty well. Because this confuses them. Uh... This blocks them from the special energies, and this was working fine, but, you know, put Guzzlord in there, and because Guzzlord is Guzzlord, uh, the, the RNG on uh, TCGO decided to say no, no you're done. Uh, but let's take a look at this one real fast, the post rotation. Obviously these three can be changed to whatever Ultra Beast you prefer. Um, actually all of these really could. I just happen to really like these two, um, and that one was in there from the other one. So what I did was I took out those four max elixirs, those are uh, rotating out, so I threw an extra uh, B string in there, and I threw in three order pads. Uh, the team flare grunts are rotating, so I threw in an ace Arola. Ends rotating, I threw in copycat. Um, all cards that are relatively easy to get. I think copycat's even going to be in the theme deck. Ace of Rollers, I think, were in theme decks a little while ago. Um, and then I got rid of the Floatstones, put a skateboard in it. Now, that's you're going to only be using it with uh, Naganadel, but uh, it's still pretty useful. Um, one card I am in, uh, one Pokemon I am interested in. And of course, whatever energy, you can put whatever energy is your most, your secondary attacker, because Naganadel can attack with any energy for that beast raid. Um, was the, the Celestila Celestial Storm promo. I really want to add that in here as well. I like the attack in that because you can literally sting her and then swing with Celestila the next turn and then swing with uh, Duskman the following turn. So like that kind of interests me. So not too many changes, but the original list I had earlier will be in the description below. But with that guys, I want to thank you guys so much, so much for stopping by. Uh, but uh, actually, yeah, but for now, I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you guys next week and in another video. Bye-bye now.